Hello, fellow Nigerians, fellow Americans, fellow Lowellians. Thank you very much for coming. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you here this morning. And I will also, lest I forget, uh, this whole thing is done in conjunction with NAMSA, the Nigerian American Association in Boston. And Mr. Godwin and Nana is here as their president. And we appreciate you, brother. We appreciate all you've been doing for us around the Boston area. You ha you've had a very busy week with the flag raising in Randolph on Monday, which I was there. The next day was Boston, and it keeps going. And, you know, we are just trying to do our best to let, you know, this home of ours know that we are here and we bring a lot of good to the table. So, Mr. Godwin Nana, we thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my pleasure to introduce a gentleman who has been a steady light and guiding light and a stalwart in this community in a very quiet way since we formed the Nigerian Association of Merrimack Valley uh, right around 24 years ago. Um, he's been there. He's served in various capacities as secretary, as provost, as everything. And currently, he's the president of the association. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Olisa Adigwe. You know, as 63 years ago, a new nation emerged out of West Africa. Nigeria became thus a country and joined the Community of Nations in the United Nations, promoting international peace, understanding, and progress of the world. October 1st, 1960, the Union Jack flag that has been flying over Nigeria was lowered, and the Nigerian flag of green, white, green was hosted up. And we announced to the world that a new nation has emerged. There were, there were a lot of celebration in Nigeria across the length and breadth of Nigeria. Pomp and pageantry, it lasted for weeks. But as soon as it quieted down, the first trip the Nigerian uh, Prime Minister, Alahaji Tafala Balawa took, was to come to Washington. And in Washington, he met the then Vice President. He met the, ve the then Vice President of the United States in the airport in Washington. He was warmly and graciously welcomed by Lindo Johnson. And then they drove through a motorcade to the White House, where he also met the president, President Kennedy. And President Kennedy graciously and generously welcomed him. I think from that moment, a bond between Nigeria and the United States was formed. In 1961, there were a few Nigerians in America. Today, Nigerians are numbered over 460,000 individuals. When I came to Lowo 35 years ago, I came surreptitiously. Even the mayor then didn't know of my arrival. But over the years, I found my place in Lowo. And I've been happy. There is one thing America does not know about Lowo. Lowo is a great place to live and raise a family. Lowo, Lowo is a melting pot. New York can brag all they want at being <laughs> melting pot. But Lowo is not far behind. Look at all of us. So basically, uh, Lowo is a very nice place to live and raise families. I have five boys. They're all grown up now. All of them attended, four of them are at least attended Lowell High School and Lowell Elementary School. They've, four of them have graduated in college and they've moved on you know, with their career. Thanks to Lowell for providing us the environment conducive enough to raise strong individuals. So I, will, I would like to say 
most of us are immigrants, especially of Nigerian ancestry. We are happy to be in Lowu, and uh, we're doing our quota, working hard, obeying the law, uh, doing the best that we can to make this country even a greater country. That's where we're here. So we are very happy for this opportunity to stay here and raise our flag. We continue to thank the leadership of Lowell, uh, the residents of Lowell, and everybody who has fine time in their busy schedule to come here and appreciate Nigerian culture. Now, I want to welcome both presidents of the Nigerian Association from Boston and of the Merrimack Valley, and I want to thank Ben and Val for helping uh, organize uh, this event. It's always uh, it's a great pleasure of mine to welcome every culture to raise the flag because we know what it's like to leave our country, to come to a new country, to make it our home. I myself, like the new Nigerian mayor in Colorado, I'm an immigrant. I came here 40 years ago, so I think the Nigerian uh, mayor has a few years on me by achieving <laughs> achieving this level of becoming part of community here in America much, much sooner. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for allowing us to participate in this flag raising to share with you the culture, your dress, uh, and the, the wonderful natures of your country. Um, I have known Ben O'Para, and he, he's a wonderful man, uh, as well as Olisa. I coached his sons, a couple of his sons. Thank you for all that you bring to Lowell. Thank you for inviting us here, and happy Independence Day. There's a lot to like about Lowell. It isn't because of Lowell, it's because of the people in it, such as yourself. That's what it's all about. And I like to say that Lowell is a very, very rich city. We're very, very rich, not in finances, not in money, rich in ethnic diversity because everyone comes here from all over the world. Good morning and thank you for uh, having us to be part of this historical celebration of the Nigerian Independence Day. It is my honor and privilege uh, to be part of the rich, uh, diverse uh, city of Lowell and to serve the population in the city that are diverse. and. Uh, like the mayor said, we came from another country, but this is our home now. Thank you so much for your contribution to the city of Lowell, the richness you brought from Nigeria to enrich the city of Lowell. Thank you and happy Independence Day. Thank you. Um, what does independence mean? It means that your ancestors fought for a better life for all of you. It took a resolve commitment when everyone's running away from giving you independence, they stood strong. The United States wasn't there in the beginning for all of you in 1960, when Britain and you got your independence. But President Carter stood up for all of you and made the commitment from the United States to give everyone a better life. And that started from your ancestors. And it's a good tradition to pass down to the next generation to understand that when the going gets tough, you gotta get in the fight. And, and it will give people a better life. We thank all of you for making all of our lives richer because that's what you do to us every day. Culture is what we're all made up of. We all came from somewhere different and have a better life. And um, I know there's a three minute rule and I just wanted to say thank you for your drive. Happy Independence Day. And if you have a relative at home who's older than 63 years old, go out, give them a hug and say thank you. Good morning and, and welcome. Um, uh, for, a special thanks to, uh, to Ben and to Valerie uh, for inviting me to celebrate today's uh, Independence Day uh, for the Nigerian people. Um, these are our best days of the year as elected officials that come and celebrate uh, the diversity uh, and the success of people that come to Lowell. Uh, they work hard, they raise their family, they raise great children, and then they become part of the community, serving on boards, uh, running for office, uh, volunteering their, their time uh, and uh, are all the energy to making uh, where they came uh, a better place. Uh, and that's the Nigerian community is no different than anybody else that, that comes here and works very, very hard, makes Lowell a better place. So I thank you once again for the uh, invitation to celebrate today. Uh, I wish you all a, uh, a wonderful day and uh, thank you very much uh, for allowing me to be a part of it.
Thank you. As shared immigrant experience, um, we all understand uh, this part. When we come to America or to any uh, new country, when different cultures come together, and once we start sharing jokes and laughing with each other and loving each other, now we realize that we are one family. And just like what we're doing uh, this morning, uh, we enjoy our time together, we share a few laughs, a few jokes. Um, at the same time, I also want to share the uh, the protocol, I share the respect. Um, next, I'd like to present the proclamation that's prepared by myself, the entire city council. And at this point, we'd like to ask uh, Mr. Bonapara and the president, and maybe Valve also, to come accept uh, this proclamation uh, to the Nigerian community from all of us on the city council. City of Lowell, Commonwealth of Massachusetts, by my honor, Sakari Chow, the mayor, a proclamation. Whereas 63 years ago, on October 1st, 1960, Nigeria attained its independence from the United Kingdom monarchy after over a half century of colonial rule. In the wake of their freedom, the Nigerian people worked as patriots without emphasis on their differences to see this mission accomplished with great hope and a sense of total commitment to their great nation. And whereas with a rich history and diverse cultural heritage, Nigeria boasts one of the largest economies in the world, one of the most abundant source of natural resources, and some of the most sustainable productions of art. This breadth of culture has held an important place in the city of Lowell and has been promoted further thanks to the Nigerian Association of Merrimack Valley, fostering the knowledge of Nigerian culture and participating in our festivals and other cultural events. And whereas today we honor and celebrate the country of Nigeria for its freedom and its strength, commemorate the Nigerian people worldwide and give thanks to those living in the city of Lowell for contributing to the importance of cultural diversity that is the heart of our city. Signed today by myself and the entire city council. Congratulations to the Nigerian community and thank you for your friendship.